Next is part the of member's it. time has expired. Louise Upston. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I'm sad to say, Mr. Speaker, that this is a sad day in this House. Uh, it's a sad day for a couple of reasons. The very first reason is that uh, one of the, the first speakers from the opposition uh, in, in 2013, when speaking about um, women politicians, fine women leaders in this House, uh, reduced the conversation to being about handbags. And not one, not one female member of the opposition took umbrage at that Neanderthal sexist language that was displayed by the, that member. And I'm, I have to say, Mr Speaker, I'm, I'm sad to be in this House in 2013 um, with the soon-to-be starting equal opportunity employer, Dr Jackie Blue, and have that kind of statement said in this House and accepted by those opposition female members. I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, and it's a sad day in this House that we tolerate that kind of sexist language, that Neanderthal language, when we have strong, competent, um, fine women represented um, across this House. Uh, Mr Speaker, it's particularly sad because of the timing of today. Uh, today, of course, being the funeral for Baroness Thatcher. Talk about the real issues, uh, Bellows, one member from the other side of the House. Talk about the real issues. What did, we, what did we cover today in question time? Yep, the real issues that matter for New Zealanders. The real issues that matter for New Zealanders are low interest rates, are reducing crime, increasing early childhood participation, increasing results in NCEA Level 2, decreasing numbers and benefits, growing the economy. Those actually, Mr Speaker, are the things that matter to New Zealanders. And I want to come back to this connection with Baroness Thatcher. She took office in very, very challenging times. She took office when the government, when the economy from the previous government was in shocking, shocking state. She wasn't liked by all, but she did an incredible job with difficult environment. And, Mr Speaker, she got results. And that's what this side of the House, that's what this government is doing in every area that I mentioned before. And those are the results, those are the things that matter to hard-working, tax-paying New Zealanders, not some of the pers personal, petty, sexist politics that we have today uh, from a member of the Labour Party. And, and Mr Speaker, I'm proud, I'm proud to be part of a caucus where we have fine female ministers in Cabinet. We've had two today that have already spoken about the results that this side of the House is producing. Um, the fact that we now have a very fine uh, Equal Employment Opportunity uh, Commissioner in Dr Jackie Blue, um, effective next month. Uh, Mr Speaker, I'm proud of the results that our government produces. I'm proud of our women MPs. Um, I'm not afraid to stand in this House and be proud of the results that we are producing because they are the results that matter to New Zealanders. You know, we want to come back to the conversation about a cost of living. Price increases clearly make it difficult for households. So in the House today, the Labor opposition raised questions about power prices. I mean, how ironic is that? Under their nine years, power prices go up 72%. Oh, and now they talk about, oh, we must do something about power prices. Well, actually, this is a government that gets stuff done. This is a government that is actually doing things that matter for New Zealanders in terms of keeping prices manageable. Looking at, you know, increase in wages. Now, that's another thing that I didn't mention in my results, but New Zealanders have had uh, gross wages have increased 14 per cent. Now, that's a significant number. I want to come back to the results in NCEA Level 2. Because we know, Mr Speaker, if we want our young people to leave school, get a qualification and get a job, actually NCEA Level 2 is the minimum that they need. Since we came into office, now listen to this percentage, since we came into office in 2008, 6.7% increase. 6.7%. Now, you guys don't like facts and figures. You don't like hearing the facts about what we're achieving. You don't like about the fact that we are in tune with what New Zealanders are interested because that side of the House focuses on petty point issues. Order. Order. I have a point of order, Roger. I like a lot of things, according to the, the Speaker, on her feet, and she should be told because she's been around a little bit of time now. Yeah. 
to follow standing orders and refer to the, the House, but not you. Appreciate the member. The um, member is quite right, and they, the Speaker Louise Upson should not bring the Speaker into the debate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. So that side of the House cannot cope with the fact that this government is delivering results. Just the fact that we had an interruption there means that they don't like the facts and figures, the results that this government is producing for hard-working New Zealanders. I call Sue Moroni. Thank you, Mr Speaker.